NIO is a Chinese multinational automobile manufacturer headquartered in Shanghai, specializing in designing and developing electric vehicles. The company was founded in November 2014 by William Lee, the chairman of Beta Auto and Next TV. After launch, several companies invested in NIO, including Tencent, Temasek, Sequoia, Lenovo, and TPG. Today we are comparing pros and cons of investing in a NEO and let's start from advantages. Thanks to the successful performance since the beginning of the pandemic, NEO became one of the dominant Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers which helped its shares to significantly outperform the rest of the market in the last 12 months. Just recently NEO reported successful earnings results for quarter 2. Its revenues for the period were 1.31 billion dollars up 127 percent year over year while its gross profit of 243.8 million was up 400 percent year over year it was astounding in addition its vehicle margin increased to 20 percent at the end of the period up from nine percent a year ago on top of that, the company is also expected to continue to increase the number of cars sold in the following quarters and in quarter 3. It expects to deliver 23,000 to 25,000 vehicles above the previous guidance of 21 to 22. The completion of the quarterly goal will also help NEO to reach another goal of delivering 90,000 to 100,000 vehicles this fiscal year. Another advantage of NEO is that all of its business is concentrated in China, which is the largest electric vehicle market in the world, and China expects that 20% of all cars sold in the country will be EVs by 2025, while there are also predictions that by 2013 70% of new cars sold in the region will be electric. On top of all of this, the potential trade war between China and the United States is also uh, some of the positive thing for NEO, since it's very likely that Beijing will put more regulatory pressure on American businesses such as Tesla. The positive thing about NEO is that uh, it's like Tesla, the company started selling luxury electric vehicles first, but now it's on its way to enter the mass market and create more affordable vehicles, which will lead to an even greater growth of the business. In terms of financials, one of the biggest upsides of NEO is that its gross profit continues to increase, while losses continue to narrow with every quarter. Thanks to this, the company has all the chances to break even and become more profitable in the next years. On top of that, NEO has a solid balance sheet as it had $7.26 billion in liquidity and only $1.5 billion in long-term debt at the end of quarter 2. NEO's management disclosed also that their upcoming vehicle models manufactured on uh, the NT2.0 platform would have gross margins of around 25% as opposed to 20% in quarter two, so we can expect a significant increase in the company's gross margins in the coming quarters. Also NEO's management disclosed they are entering the mass market with uh, new models under a new brand sometimes in the future. The words launch a new brand may be a fraud with complexities in the automotive world. That's something that might be of concern for NEO stock in the future. So if the company struggles to find a market fit with this new brand for an extended period of time that might also have to raise fresh funds from debt or secondary markets and to support this expensive operating structure. NEO has already diluted its shareholders significantly in the past and another round of an equity offering can deter new investments in the name. Besides that, there are some concerns that venturing out to launch a new brand may also imply that NEO is probably close to hitting a demand saturation point in the luxury EV market that it currently operates in. So trying to cover this up, NEO continues to improve its top and bottom line performances quarter after quarter, but it's also able to increase its year-over-year -year deliveries at a double-digit rate and is on track to deliver a record number of electric vehicles this year. Considering all of this, NEO has everything going for it to continue to um, dominate the Chinese EV market and expand its foothold there. While recently its shares slightly declined 
Due to the negative market sentiment regarding Chinese stocks, there are some who believe that the decline is a just market overreaction and it's very unlikely that NIO will be strictly regulated by the Chinese government anytime soon as it's interest of Beijing um, to help um, NIO and others become more successful in order to reach its climate goals on time and become a carbon neutral nation by 2016. However, in terms of the second brand of NEO that I appointed um, during this debate, uh, that's something that uh, may be facing intense market competition and still needs to establish its footing in the space. Uh, so um, this in the beginning may subdue uh, the profitability of uh, the NEO, but um, as it may weigh down on the stock price in the near future, the long term horizon might not be threatened. Okay, so you just got a viewpoint on where NEO might be heading in the future regarding its uh, fundamental analysis. Right now let's look at uh, technical analysis uh, prepared on 25th of August uh, in order to find an entrance to maximize our uh, possible uh, profits of this investment. So we can find this NEO stock has been a huge winner of this post-pandemic uh, stocks boom and gained uh, more than tenfold within just few months. After this uh, uptrend and collapse, we formed something that um, made a descending wedge that was, uh, as uh, by the book, as typically a bullish formation. And this bullish formation has brought us higher back to this 55 highs but we struggled again to get to this new highs of 67th area. So uh, right now we are consolidating within the range of about 30 bucks and 50. And uh, is there any possibility of uh, NEO to return to its highs as of right now? We can find that we are also holding um, this uh, 50 EMA on the weekly chart that might be support for the price in the future. So with uh, the price expectation to be bouncing from this 50 EMA, we may see a stock price going higher. But right now we can find that after this uh, huge sell-off we have struggled in gaining to the uh, to the new highs. So as uh, this company is still remaining at this 40 and uh, 40, 50 area on RSI indicator, we may find that uh, this consolidation needs to uh, long, needs to um, last a bit longer and uh, with uh, a significant uh, price movement to the upside or to the downside, we may get another target. Right now, this consolidation is likely to persist with a slight uh, projection to the upside as uh, this exactly line might be support in the next weeks.